My name is Mahamudu Baumia. I'm a visiting professor at Central University, Ghana. I'm talking about Dutch disease, a phenomenon where foreign money comes into a country. It makes your currency more expensive because more people are demanding your currency. By making your currency more expensive, other people will find, for example, your agricultural export more expensive. And so you will not be able to export as much. You will find other people's goods less expensive, so you are more inclined to import. If you will find yourself as a country importing you know, more and exporting less, you will soon run into financial difficulty. Ghana discovered oil in 2007, started oil production at the end of 2010. Even though oil has now become Ghana's second largest export commodity, after gold, economic growth has slowed down from about 15% in 2011 to 3.5% by 2015. The agricultural sector in Ghana today is growing at 0.04%. Agriculture is a major segment of the economy. Ghana is investing half as much as it did when it had no oil in infrastructure. If you look at uh, countries like Norway, you are investing the the resource uh, and then spending the interest out of, of those, re those investments, putting it in assets above the ground. The Nigerian case was the opposite, uh, where rather than saving, the resource was expended. The general lessons for countries um, trying to get out of Dutch disease. First, reduce your borrowing that will bring down interest rates and increase growth. Secondly, make sure that the sectors that are adversely affected by the Dutch disease are supported through policy that will allow the incentives that are given to that sector to, to be internalized and increase productivity to result. Thirdly, you'd want to see an increase in infrastructure investment that will also enhance productivity. It is very important not to get carried away by the discovery of a natural resource like oil and therefore enter into a spending binge or a borrowing binge, which we have seen in the case of Ghana.